The woman in our next story was trying to find a way to add meaning to her life. Her search led her to the occult. She got so deep in it, she earned the title Bruha, or Little Witch. For years, she practiced witchcraft until one day, she looked in the mirror and saw something so disturbing, it sent her running for help. Here's her story. One of the darkest moments in Santeria was accepting the identity that the demons gave me, that I was one of them, and me being a witch. All her life, Ileana Sultani was searching for acceptance. She says she found it through the occult. To me, it was the beauty of the rituals and the connection with the community. You felt that you were in power. Ileana's parents divorced right before she was born. Her father's absence left her with feelings of rejection she would carry for years to come. That I was not loved, that I was not good enough for him. And due to that, I, I grew up with low self-esteem. Ileana's journey into the occult started at age 12. While playing her Ouija board with friends, she discovered she had a gift to foretell the future. Some started calling her a witch, a title she would embrace for several years. I was finding my identity as the gifts manifesting that maybe that's who I was, that I was a witch. I felt empowered that I was able to make them feel good. By the time she was in college, Ileana was reading tarot cards for people. She pushed aside the things she learned going to church with her grandmother as a child in search of what she called higher enlightenment. When I read cards, I didn't thought it was, I was doing darkness. I was still think I was doing, I was in the light. Ileana put away the tarot cards. However, it didn't stop her from venturing into another occult religion, Santeria, which originated in Cuba. Practitioners of Santeria claim to follow God while practicing dark rituals, magic, and animal sacrifices. Ileana, now an accountant, was drawn deeper into Santeria. By the end of three years, she had earned the title Bruja, or Little Witch. The change had been so subtle, she didn't realize who she'd become until one day, she saw something disturbing in the mirror in her sleep. My eyes were on fire in the mirror, like red on fire. And I knew there was a power and I didn't want to go into practicing dark magic. Now you're talking about voodoo. Now you're talking about raising also the dead. Ileana threw away the idols and tools and left Santeria. Within the week, she was in the hospital, violently ill with internal bleeding. Unable to find a cause, doctors suspected she had an unknown virus and feared she might die. While they had no answers, Ileana had a visit from some people who did. The santos, the saints, were very upset at me. They told me to come back, that just to do several rituals, to do several sacrifices, and then everything should be fine, which I told them no, that I was not going back. Ileana would stay in the hospital for two weeks before the symptoms and bleeding stopped. Then, after getting out, she lost her job. The battle continued and she blamed God. I ended up losing everything, which at that time I said to God, why are you allowing this? I started having intense dreams where demons will show up in my house and they will try to choke me. I just want a normal life. All I wanna do is just leave everything that has to do with the spirit around alone and don't see demons and just move with my life. Over the next five years, Ileana dedicated her life to her career. While working at a bank, she met a Christian coworker who told her God had a message for her. And she said, God wants me to give you this verse. And she gave me Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord, plans not to harm you. And at that moment, I was so mad at God that I didn't, I didn't want to hear that. While at her job, a month later, Ileana says she heard God's voice. And he said to me, wake up, the time is near. And right there, I felt like all my spiritual senses were awakening again. 
When Ileana went home, she prayed. I said, Jesus, forgive me for everything that I have done. And I really want to follow you. I want to serve you. So that night, as I go to sleep, I didn't see anything in a dream, but I heard audibly, we're rejoicing because you are back. And I said to him, who am I for you to do this? And he said, you're my beloved. For one year, she spent time with God and learned how to hear his voice. He removed all false identities that I had. I was not a witch. I was his beloved daughter. I was not an orphan. No more demonic manifestations, no more anxiety, no more fear. I just walk in this life of peace, trusting him completely. Today, Ileana is married, has a son, and is a realtor. She's written a book about her journey of freedom from the occult. She also has a Facebook show where she gives encouragement to those in need. No matter what you're going through, God always will turn things around for you. If you decide to say yes to him, God loves you and that God wants to have a relationship with you. Seek the true God, the only true God through his son, Jesus Christ.